Susie Lake. Um, there is a nice breeze blowing, so the mosquito mafia is kind of being held at bay. Whenever it subsides, they attack. But like, there's one, two, and I have bug spray on. Um, actually slept pretty good last night, and I think it's because of the sound of the wind, um, that little background noise. But uh, have less than 10 miles going into Echo Lake today. Um, like 9.4 and then um, I'll get my resupply from Rich and then I'll probably head out like two or three miles after that and then I'll be four days away from North Kennedy Meadows and the beginning of the Sierra. Okay it's time to get going. The bugs are getting me. Wow it's pretty this morning. It's a good place to stay last night. <laughs> This is the Susie Lake outfit. That's the Susie Lake outlet. This is a pretty side, but I'm really glad I stayed where I stayed because I had a view of the mountain that's over top of that. You don't see it on this side. It's the other side of Susie Lake. Really thankful for that breeze this morning, helping keep the mosquitoes at bay. This would be a uh, really fun lake to kayak on if you get portage a kayak in lots of little islands very pretty all right beginning our climb out in front of us is the mountain that was our backdrop last night. It's throwing off some alpine glow this morning from the sunrise behind us. How oh, spectacular. A beautiful morning.
is a little waterfall. It's probably a pond or a lake up there. Huge pieces of rock all away from this mountain. I bet that made a sound. This is amazing. This is what I can see from the top of Dick's Pass. This beautiful lake. These are Echo Lakes. Marmot alert. Hey, Marmot. This is like a dream trail right now. It's amazing. Oh, what a morning. It's beautiful out here. This trail. Mm. I wish it was all like this. I just uh, met a backpacker on the Tahoe Rim Trail with a dog named Mango who is a golden retriever and he's missing an eye. Apparently they're from Alabama and there was a plant he called a foxtail. Uh, apparently injured the dog's eye. But what a sweetheart. Such a good dog. But I guess this is a very popular day use trail. I'll let you see why. Very beaten down. Very nice traveling this morning. So I'm making the drop down into Echo Lakes. That's one of them. Um, I was just talking to a PCT hiker, uh, Blue. Uh, I believe she said she was from the UK. And we were talking about the San Joaquin bri Bridge outing, excuse me. Um, and she said that by the time I get there, which will be a few weeks, I should be able to just cross the water. That way I won't miss John Muir Trail, uh, Evolution Valley. Two big highlights. Um, and I've kind of heard that on and on, but hopefully it's true. We went from that dream trail to uh one mile an hour trail all the rocks oh boy Whew, finally out of the desolation wilderness probably one of the most mosquito ridden places i've ever been coming down closer to the echo lake area you can see it's kind of hazy um, i just wonder if it's from the fire over in this region which is uh, Tahoe area. This lovely trail full of rocks. Really slowed the pace, but need to be very, very careful. So 
several cabins in here. It looks like the only way to get here is by boat. That'd be my kind of lake house right there. Wow, what a pretty setting for a little lake house. Looks like the taxi bringing people up to the trailhead. Here's a look at all the little cabins. This is a really neat place. Leave in Echo Lake. We have a steep, steep climb out here. Ooh. See how far up we are already? And Rich brought me my resupply, so I have ooh, probably too much. And water. And I eat food when I was here, and it's 91 degrees. So, anyway. Only going 3.7 more miles and I'll be at camp. In this burn area, at least there's a wind because this is a heavy, heavy resupply. I probably took way too much when I'm telling you. My knees are killing it. But, all right, I've reached the Top of the climb, and let's we'll start down now. Whew, thank goodness. Oh, did I mention it's 91 degrees? Oh. That is a big, beautiful tree.